Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we have a new uh, lead code uh, video. Today we installed the first approach to solve uh, the problem number 29 divided two integers. The problem is medium. It has been asked like quite quite few times in the last six months. And the problem goes like that: given two integers, divide divide uh, divide and divisor. Uh, divide two integers without using uh, uh, multiplication divisor and mod operator the integer division should uh, uh, truncate uh, toward zero which means losing its fractional part for example 8.345 would uh, truncate it to 8 and um, minus 2 um, uh, point seven three three five will be truncated to minus two. Uh, return the quotation after divided dividing d uh, divide uh, uh, divided uh, by divisor. Um, note: we assume we are dealing with an environment that could only store integers within thirty-two byte. It's a quite important signed integer range from minus uh, 31 point and uh, 2 in the power of 31 minus 1 for this problem if the quotation is strictly greater than uh, 2 in the power of 31 minus 1 then return 2 in the power of 31 minus 1 and if the quotation is strictly less than minus 2 31 by 1 we return it again with the same okay okay that's great that's great so um we have this example, the dividend is 10 and the divisor is 3, so we return 3 because we have 3.333, we just return 3, we have 7 as divisor by minus 3, and we turn minus 2 because it's, it's uh, 7 divided by minus 3, it's uh, minus 2 dot 333 and so on and so forth. So, um, the way we try to solve this problem is that first, we um, I'm, I would love to um, to put this case this case first in the code and before we start coding anything so I just want to say that if the the defendant defendant div, do I'm pronouncing right or, or do I need to work on my pronunciation let's see let's see let's see so um, open here open here Dividend, dividend, not dividend, dividend. Okay, so um, we want to say if the dividend, div, dividend, if the dividend equals minus math the power two in the power of thirty one and the divisor, I guess, also divisor is right. So I'm, I'm pronouncing divisor right. Dividend and divisor. Yeah, divisor is right. Okay. So um, we're saying that. Okay. So if uh, the dividend and the divisor equals minus one, that means we have our base case because right now we have overflow here. We have an overflow case equals. Minus one. That means we have overflow case. So we just return uh, uh, math dot pow two two and the power of thirty one uh, minus one. Okay. And I guess this we just finish this so right now i guess we need to convert both numbers to negatives for the consistency and after that we can just return them to be negative or positive so let's just create like var create like um uh, negatives negatives and we assume the two are negatives and i'll say if uh, the uh dividend divin d Dividend, dividend is uh, bigger than zero. That means it's not 
negative that means we have one that's not negative so the negative minus minus and the dependent uh, tool equals minus dependent Um, and I will do the, the I will do the same thing with uh, with uh, divisor. So I will say uh, if divisor if divisor is bigger than zero, we will the negatives minus minus and the divisor will equals minus divisor and looks good looks good so right now it's good to try to initialize the quotation amount so let's just have for t the problem with this with this problem is just a pure math so if you are not good at math you will maybe suffer from it a little bit I'll create a while loop. So while and then um, dividend dividend what dividend is minus that it's minus then the divisor is smaller than or equals to zero because we right now we want to count how many times uh, the divisor has to be uh, has to be added to the dividend quotation so we will know want to know how many times so I will say uh, the quotation minus minus and the dividend oh no 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 the dividend will be minus equal dividend so we take one from dividend and uh, we continue and right now um, if there are if there were more originally two uh, negative signs the quotation remains negative otherwise we switch to the positive so um, I want to say here if if the negatives doesn't equal one that means it should be positive or the, the, the different quote quote quotation the quotation will equals minus quotation and otherwise and after that we return quotation okay let's just try to run the code and see if it will work and after that oh it didn't work why it didn't work let's see what the wrong thing that i have done if negatives doesn't t equals one quotation left minus quotation we want to return quotation here the quotation while dependent minus the divisor is uh, less than equals to quotation minus minus and dividend. Ah, strong, strong. Divided minus equals divisor because we're going to work with divisor. How how we would do that? Okay, so let's just try to describe what we have done here. So let's talk about this first step. So in this first step, uh, we have the special case overflow. So um, uh, the code checks if the dividend, uh, the uh, dividend is equal to uh, integer dot min value and divisor is equal to minus one. If this condition true, it returns uh, integer dot max value to avoid integer overflow. In JavaScript, we use math dot pow uh, to represent the maximum thirty two pi signed integer. And after that, we have this section. We try to conversion uh, conversion to negative. So both dividend and divisor need to be converted to negatives for consistency in the subsequent steps. Uh, steps. The code counts the number of negatives signs in the negatives variables. If the dividend is greater than zero, it is converted to the negative value, and the negative is decremented by one. 
in the same in the same meaning if the divisor here if the divisor is greater than zero it is converted to a, a negative value and a, and a negatives is decremented by one after that we in, in, uh, initiate a quotation uh, the quotation variable is initialized to zero and it will store the result of the division okay after that we have the division loop this is we call the division loop so in the division loop the loop continues while divide uh, dependent uh, minus divisor is less than or equal to zero in each iteration it subtracts um it uh, it it, uh, it subtract divisor from divided and decrements the quotations by one okay so this is this is how actually we we do the this is how actually this math things is going um this loop essentially counts how many times the divisor can be subtracted from the divided to get quotation uh, after that we have the sign adjustment like after the loop the code checks the value of the negatives if if it's not equal to one means there were originally two negative signs so the quotations remain negative okay otherwise it's switch the signs to the quotation it is positive okay and after that we return the result so the function returns the results quotation as the results is division so let's just try to submit and see how our 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 performance here Maybe you get limited exceeded. I believe I will get limited exceeded. Yeah, we get limited exceeded. Anyway, this was the first solution, and we have maybe four more solutions. We can go to them. So that's it for this video, and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And see you guys in future problems.